back to the Recreateful channel. My name is Stevia and in today's video we're going to do something completely different but equally as exciting. Instead of sewing or upcycling clothes, we will be upcycling a piece of furniture that I got off Facebook Marketplace for free. I've seen this concept on Mia Maple's channel and I just thought it was brilliant. So here we go, I hope you enjoy this video. So this is the little cabinet that I picked up for free after seeing it on Facebook Marketplace. I honestly don't know why anyone would give away this cute cabinet but I'm just really happy they did. First of all I took the drawer out and removed the handle. I also unscrewed the door and removed the handle too. Next I started sanding the cabinet but quickly realized that the sandpaper didn't help much. I then started sanding it with an electric sander but found that even the electric sander was unable to get through to the wood which made me think that the cabinet might have been made of laminate. For that reason I just slightly sanded all surfaces of the cabinet although that probably didn't help much. And afterwards I just wiped the dust off. I took some wood filler to fill in the holes of the handles and left that to dry for about an hour. After the wood filler dried I just sanded off any excess. Because I wasn't able to sand the cabinet properly, I picked up paint that doesn't require sanding, which is this chalky furniture paint in a lovely sage green. When I started painting the sides of the cabinet, I was very unhappy with the amount of brush strokes you could see and thought that this was due to the brush that I used. I switched my synthetic brush for a foam brush, which did not achieve the smooth finish I was hoping for. Luckily, I found a great blog post that recommended to dilute the color down with some water and using a very fine brush. I then decided to use the softest brush I could find around the house and regularly sprayed water into my color to dilute it down. I painted the side of the cabinet with the brush moving along the grain of the wood, making sure I diluted the color after every couple of strokes. This blog post also recommended to mist the freshly painted surfaces after every layer of color which would help the color to settle smoothly. This was the best tip ever as it worked wonders for my little project. So then I just kept painting the cabinet until every outer surface was covered in this lovely green color. Because I wanted to give this cabinet an entirely new and refreshed look, I also decided to paint the insides. I chose the satin finish color in the shade Cotton. I made sure that this color would also work on surfaces that don't require any priming or sanding. I painted all the insides of the cabinet that you would see when it's open.
As you can see, one coat did not cover the dark wood, so I waited for the paint to dry and added three more layers. Same goes for the outer color, I needed four layers in total for both the outside and inside. Whenever I had built up of colour, I simply sanded this down with some fine sanding paper. I kept misting water over every finished layer and always diluted the colour down. After all four layers, the cabinet looked like this. To protect the collar, I picked up this furniture lac with a matte finish. It is basically a clear protective coat so that your paint won't scratch off. I used up the whole can which were another 4 coats on the outside surfaces of the cabinet. Since the inside is a satin finish anyway, it didn't need any protection. I picked up these cute handles in a nice bronze color to match the cottage character of the cabinet. To attach these to the cabinet, I just marked the middle of the drawer and door and marked half the length of the handle on each side. I asked my boyfriend to drill the new holes in for me as he's just a little better with these things than I am. Drawer was a little too thin to hold onto the handle tightly so I used these IKEA leftovers to bridge the gap. I screwed the handle on tightly on both the drawer and the door. Lastly, I attached the door back to the cabinet and finished is my upcycle. Let's take another look at the before. And here is the final outcome. Mm -hmm. I 
I honestly could not be happier with how this turned out. This cabinet is truly the nicest piece of furniture that I own. This was such a fun project to do. I highly recommend for everyone to try this out. So that was it. That was the recreateful version of upcycling free furniture of Facebook Marketplace. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the new year. Bye!